Today on CVTV, we're going over the installation and setup of the Kamor X4 Wi-Fi dosing pump. Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos and I'll be your host for today. The new Kamor liquid dosing pump is the latest state-of-the-art controllable dosing system from Kamor. Each unit includes a Wi-Fi connection, which allows the doser to be controlled via most mobile devices. Alkalinity and calcium are consumed by our tank inhabitants 24-7 and need to be replenished on a daily basis. Some hobbyists take care of this manually by adding alkalinity and calcium solutions once a day, while other hobbyists rather automate the process by using dosing pumps. The X4 is a reliable, safe, and versatile solution that facilitates the addition of supplements into our system. Not only does it allow us to dose alkalinity and calcium, but we can also supplement things such as trace elements, magnesium, liquid carbon, and the list goes on and on. Before we get started with the installation, let's make sure that everything is included and nothing is missing from the box. The box should include the X4 dosing unit, four individual dosing heads, a power adapter, a mounting bracket, a graduated cylinder, tube bracket, a temperature probe, PVC transparent tubing, hardware, and a suction cup. Now that we have accounted for all the parts, let's get started with the installation. First, let's attach the dosing heads to the main unit. The process is super simple and only takes a couple of seconds. All you need to do is line up the center of the exposed side of the dosing head with one of the shafts on the X4 unit. Push the head in until it snaps into place. Repeat this process for all three remaining heads. You can install the head with the tubing down or up. Choose the option that better suits your setup. Now that the unit has been assembled, let's find a location for the optimal mounting of our X4. The location should be easy access, close to a sump or location where the tubing will be installed, and also easy access to dosing containers that will hold the solutions. The unit should also be installed higher than the sump, but not directly above water. Now that we've found the perfect location, we can use the included mounting bracket to easily mount our unit. The mounting bracket allows for easy access and removal of the unit, as well as a generous space between the wall and the unit to allow for power cable, float switches, and the temperature probe. Installing the tubing is as simple as it gets. Just attach the included PVC clear tubing to the unions already attached to the dozer heads and we are ready to configure the unit. Before we proceed, let's download and install the Kamor X4 Dosing Pump app from the Google Play or Apple App Store. We will need this app to remotely control our X4 dosing unit. Now, there are two ways to connect the new X4 unit to your home network, manual and automatic. In this video, we will go over the automatic connection, which is the easiest and most reliable way to connect your new X4 to your home Wi-Fi. Once the Kamor app has been downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it. If the app asks you for a login password, please type in 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and tap login. If you're using an iOS device, Tap on the More icon found on the bottom right hand corner of the app screen. Then select Set and then tap on Auto Connect. If you're using an Android device, tap on the three vertical dots on the upper right hand corner and select Auto Connect. On the Auto Connect screen, you will see that the SSID field will automatically list your home Wi Fi network. Now hold on, do not fill in the password yet. If you do, the Auto Connect process will fail. While leaving the password field blank and keeping the app open, let's head over to our X4 unit and enter setup menu by pressing and releasing the set button once. Using the down button, scroll down to option and then press and release the set button once to select. Using the down button, scroll down to auto connect and press the set button again to select. At this time, the X4 will prompt you to confirm your selection. Press the down button to highlight yes and then press and release the set button to select. The unit will now display the word ready. Immediately while the X4 is displaying the word ready, go back to your iOS or Android device and now you can enter your Wi-Fi password. This is the password you use to connect to your home network. Do not enter 12345678. 
After typing your Wi-Fi password, tap on the Connect button. The app will display a status of connecting, and this process may take a few seconds. If successful, the app will display a message that the X4 connection has been successful, and you can just tap on the OK button. To confirm that the X4 is in fact connected to your Wi-Fi network, terminate the Camor app and then start it again. On the main screen at the top, next to the time temperature title, you will see the word online. This means your X4 unit is now permanently connected to your home Wi-Fi network and you can access and configure the unit via your mobile device anytime you want. Now, the purpose of this video is to help you get your X4 unit set up and installed quickly and efficiently. And while the X4 dozer has a number of great features, we're not going to cover them all here. If you want to learn more about these features, check out the X4 user manual, which can be downloaded from CoralView.com, or keep an eye on upcoming X4 advanced setup videos. The first thing to do is to make sure that our X4 unit has the proper time. To do this, just tap on the time listed on the main page of the app. This will prompt the app to sync the time on the X4 unit with your mobile device. The next step is to assign names to each of the four dosing pumps. We recommend that you name the pumps based on their function. If pump 1 is dosing sodium bicarbonate or soda ash, pump 2 is dosing calcium, pump 3 is dosing magnesium, and pump 4 is taking care of trace elements, then we recommend naming the pumps accordingly. To name the pumps using an iOS device, tap on the More option at the bottom right. Then select Set, and finally select Set Name. If you're using an Android device, then tap on the three vertical dots on the upper right-hand corner and select Pump Name. Tap on each of the pumps to rename them. Once completed, tap on the Save button. Now, the whole purpose of having a dosing pump is to automate the process of adding trace elements to our system. This means telling the dosing pump how much and how often to dose. The easiest thing to do is just tell the X4 the total amount of solution to dose each day and then tell the unit how many times to do it. The X4 will automatically take the total daily dose and divide it by the number of times you specify. So let's go ahead and configure our calcium pump to dose a total of 30 milliliters per day and automatically divide that by 24. This means that every hour our X4 unit should dose 1.25 milliliters of calcium solution. If using an iOS device, you can access the auto mode setting by tapping on the automatic icon at the bottom of the screen. If you're using an Android, just tap on the auto icon also located at the bottom of the screen. Tap on the pump name you wish to configure. First, make sure that the pump is on. On iOS, make sure the switch lighter is green and to the right. On an Android device, make sure that the channel is set to on. Under Run Mode, select Per One Day. This tells the X4 to run this configuration every day. Now, there may be an instance where you only want to run the pump once every two days. In that case, you would select Per Two Days. But for now, we want this to run every day, so we will leave it as Per One Day. The X4 is versatile enough that it allows you to specify the start and end time for each regimen. Say you wanted those only at night. Then you would set the start time to 1900 hours or 7 p.m. and an end time of 0600 hours or 6 a.m. the next morning. For our configuration, we want the regimen to take the full 24 hours, so we will leave the start time at 0000, 0, 0, 0 and the end time at 2359. Now, tap on the option Number of Runs to tell the X4 how many times to dose each day. Here you can select every 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 hours. Let's select 24 as we want the X4 to dose once every hour. Finally, we tell the X4 how much total to dose per day by setting the dosing volume. Here we will input 30 milliliters. Now, as soon as we enter the 30 milliliters dosing volume, we can see that the X4 automatically set the single dosing volume field to 1.2. This means that the X4 is planning on dosing 1.2 milliliters each hour for a total of 30 milliliters per day. Now, I'm no math genius, but 30 divided by 24 comes out to 1.25. So why is the X4 only showing 1.2 milliliters single dose? There's a perfectly good explanation. 
The smallest amount the X4 can dose is 0.1 milliliters. This means that the X4 is capable of dosing 1.2 or 1.3, but it cannot dose 1.25 milliliters. In cases like this, our friends at Camor decided to err on the side of caution and configure the X4 to round off to the lowest possible number, which in our case is 1.2 milliliters. Tap save to upload the information to the X4 unit. To configure the rest of the pumps, just repeat the process. Keep in mind though, that each pump can be configured individually and is not dependent on the other pumps. Once all pumps have been configured, the next step is to make sure that the X4 unit does not allow multiple pumps to dose at the same time. This comes handy when you're dosing both calcium and alkalinity via the same unit. If you were to dose both solutions at the same time, they would immediately precipitate as soon as they hit the water. For this reason, it is always good to prevent chemical interference by staggering the pumps by at least 5 minutes. We can set the delay in the anti-chemical interference page. On Android, you can access this page by tapping on the three vertical dots on the upper right hand corner and selecting anti-chemical interference. On iOS, tap on the more icon at the bottom right of the page, then tap on set and then select anti-chemical interference. Now, set the first pump to 0 minutes. Then, set the second pump to 5 minutes. This means that the second pump will run 5 minutes after the first pump ran. The third pump is based on the second pump. Therefore, we can input 5 minutes, which means the third pump will run 5 minutes after the second pump ran. We will set the fourth pump to 5 minutes so it can run after the third pump ran. Once done configuring each pump, tap on the save parameters. This will upload the information to the X4. In the future, if you wish to edit the current settings, you must tap on read parameters to pull the information from the X4 into your app. Edit the settings and then tap on save settings to upload the changes again. Sometimes, even though our dosing regimen is fully automated, we need to make manual adjustments. The X4 allows you to easily make one-time manual adjustments without affecting your preset schedule. To do this, tap on the manual icon at the bottom of the screen. Here you can easily select the pump and enter the amount you wish to dose. Tap on the start button and the pump will dose the amount you specified regardless of the automatic regimen you previously configured. Well, that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more information about the Camor X4 Wi-Fi Dozer, including detailed specs and beautiful high-quality pictures, head on over to CoralView.com. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at CoralView.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com CoralView Aquarium Products.